the hero from Starboy. Nine foot by 32 inches wide. This brings performance wave surfing to the average guy. It doesn't have the forward glide of say a drive or a blend, but if you have the shape in the way, if it's steep enough, and it doesn't have to be very steep. If you're more interested in wave than fitness, if you weigh 80, 90, 100 kilos, and you want to get loose on the wave, you won't regret it. This one will teach you so much. It'll forgive you if you're wobbly. It'll allow you to move in the choppy conditions between the waves if the wind comes up. It's still get your back foot on the kicker. And she will, she's loose, she'll surf. Also, this is the AST uh, EVA covered model has foot strap inserts and a mast track. She is lovely to windsurf. So you can do slow motion wave windsurfing. On this board, wide enough, you could, you really could learn to windsurf on this board. I wouldn't recommend it. I'd recommend you start with a club using a starboard large or move on to a Rio. Hello everyone, my name is Sam. I weigh about 90 kilo. I surf subs for uh, six months now. I started in Guohin, Thailand. Uh, Craig from Amara Watersport in Pattaya chose those boards for the trip. He chose for me the Hero. The Hero is a great board for a beginner and uh, somebody that moved from a beginner level to an intermediate level. It's very forgiving. It has a very good uh, buoyancy and a bit of a glide, very easy on the wave. I surfed for the last six months on my drive in Tel Aviv, Israel. And the difference between the hero and the drive is that the hero is much more fun of the wave. You can take the drop easier and take a rail easier. But the drive have a bit more of a glide and it's better of like a more flat wave, a bit faster wave and it's great for fitness. So these, those are the difference between those boards. Overall it was great fun.